good day friends today we are going to learn about types of boiler in this video i am going to discuss the various classifications of boiler okay and we know that the different types of boilers are being utilized in the marine field and uh, when we talk about uh, the uses of boiler then the main thing is that the production of steam and this steam is being utilized on the various purposes like for the main engine auxiliary engine or even boiler also the fuel which is being required that has to be heated up and another one which we is important is your accommodation heating another uses of steam is your uh, cargo heatings okay and uh, if we talk about on tankers the your cargo oil pump turbines are being utilized okay and uh, turbo generators is also one of the uses okay so uh, as per the uses as per the demand of the steam uh, quantity and the pressure the different boilers are being utilized so in this video we are going to learn about the various types of boilers okay so here the classification of boiler so as we will see over here this is something which is your the boiler classification and this is the mind map uh, which is being shown over here and uh, in this one it is going to tell you about the boiler classification based on the different design and purposes okay so first thing which you can see over here based on the boiler axis so how the boiler is basically installed you can see over here the horizontal boilers vertical boilers and the inclined boilers okay so based on the boiler axis these three types are being over there okay the next one which we which we see over here is the based on the passage through the boiler tubes so how the boiler tubes are there and what is the functionality of it so number one is your air fire tube boilers and the water tube boilers so these are the two major categories which is being installed on the marine field okay the third one is based on the method of fabrication so how the boiler is being fabricated that is your packaged boilers and the soft assembled boilers okay the next one is based on the nature of the fuel sources used basically what type of the fuel is being utilized to produce the steam so based on that part the boiler is being classified here okay so gas fired boilers then oil fired boilers and then your solid fuel fired boilers okay so the last one is not being installed on board ship now okay so the first two you can see over here and that too also the major part is your oil fired boilers okay the next one is your based on working pressure as per the pressure so we will see later in other slides like your low pressure boiler and high pressure boiler shown over here but one more is there medium pressure boilers then the last one is based on the circulation method that is your the natural circulation boilers and forced circulation boilers so we will see the uh, other classifications or the same one in the other slides okay in you can see over here the uh, types of boiler that is uh, your main boilers okay so this main boiler why it is called main boiler because it is the main propulsion part of the vessel it takes part in the propulsion of the vessel okay next one is your auxiliary boiler so as the name implies it is your auxiliary purpose okay so it aids in the propulsion it aids in the propulsion like when the heating of the heavy fuel oil is required for uh, the main engine or for the generators or for the other purposes wherever the steam heaters are utilized okay so this boiler is producing steam to do that one okay so that is it is your auxiliary boiler donkey boiler at the name implies it is just used uh, for the giving your hot water supply in the accommodation or the other like in uh, here the peculiar word hotel needs hotel needs are being seen over here then the next one is your tank boiler so tank boiler is boiler with a large water carrying capacity as the tank name implies this is something which is your large boiler uh, large water capacity okay so uh, this is something which is your mostly low pressure auxiliary boilers are coming into uh, this category if you see that okay. is your the the vertical boilers okay so if you see that vertical boilers that we have already seen that is as for the installation axis so if the cell is upright and the furnace is usually containing within the cell at the lower half so this is something which is your vertical boiler 
The next one is your horizontal boiler. So again, as per the axis, uh, this is something which is your, uh, it is referred in this one is your cylindrical boiler and it, the axis is your horizontal and the boiler cylindrical cell is lying across the length parallel to the structure of the ship or ground level. So that's why it is called your horizontal boiler. Okay. Exhaust gas boiler. Again, this is something which is uh, the exhaust gas is being utilized or the hot gases of the engine uh, or the other exhaust gas sources are being utilized to produce the steam. So that is one of the best uh, waste heat recovery system and the uh, steam is being generated by the uh, exhaust gases. Okay, the next one is your drum type of boiler. So this is water tube boilers employing steam and water drums. So you can say that water tube boiler uh, which is having the steam drums and the water drums. So that's why it is called drum type of boiler. Next one is your packaged boiler. So this is something which is a fully automatic low capacity boilers and uh, this is packaged inside the box type or the casing. Okay, so it is in the casing inside. Okay, so this is uh, something which is your packaged boiler or you can say it uh, basically uh, the major type in, uh, included into this one is your fire tube boiler or this is a low capacity boiler which is being utilized. Over one is okay. your when we talk about so basically depending upon the uh, flow of flue gases so which we have already seen in that mind map that is your water tube boilers and fire tube boilers okay so if the water is inside the tubes that is water tube boiler and if fire is inside the tubes that is your fire tube boilers okay so water tube boilers when we talk about so then what happened this is also being classified over here as per the pressure wise okay so low pressure between 0 to 7 bar this data is important so i am highlighting this 0 to 7 bar okay next one is your medium pressure boiler 7 to 18 bar and the other one is your high pressure boiler 18 to 64 bar okay so this is the classification as per the pressure wise how much working pressure of the boiler is okay and next one which we see is your fire tube boilers in the fire tube boiler the flue gases flow through the tubes and the water flows over the tubes or outside the tubes so that's why it is called fire tube boilers so this was uh, another now, case uh, if you can see over here so this is the complete chart of it which you can see here the classification of boiler the classification criteria is given in this column and then for steam ships uh, for motor ships and any other additional information related to that particular criteria is also given over here so as per the capacity you can see this is the high capacity so you can see that uh, this 100,000 kg per hour and over so this is very high capacity maybe uh, the steam ships are being at a low capacity this is 1000 to 10,000 kg per hour okay and if you're talking about the motor tankers this is something which is your 20,000 to 80,000 kg uh, per hour so this is something which is your uh, the steam generating capacity on the boiler okay when we talk about the pressure we have already seen high pressure 60 bars and ever low pressure 6 to 15 bars medium pressure 17 to 30 bars okay so medium pressure used on the motor tanker vessel when we talk about the oil tankers and also medium pressure like about 6 to 15 bars and all being utilized okay the shape of the drum type d type uh, other uh, you can say that the cylindrical type is there, vertical type is there, tank type is there, packaged. When we talk about the motor ships, so this is your package type, tube coil type boilers are being utilized. Okay. When we talk about as per the uses, the main propulsion boiler are being used, which is assisting in the propulsion, main propulsion of the vessel. Next is your auxiliary boiler, donkey boiler as per the uses. Okay. So this assist in the propulsion and when we talk about donkey boiler the hotel purposes it is being utilized okay type of the fuel used again uh, the same thing uh, this is given in this classification part of it so heavy fuel oil and gases uh, here it is light diesel oil the heavy fuel and gases are being used this coal is something which is uh, out of the question on board ships it is on the shore industry basically in power plants and all and the electricity exhaust gases are being utilized. When we talk about the working principle, water tube boiler, fire tube boiler, and water tube boiler, in motor ships, fire tube and water tube both are being utilized, and in steam ships, water tube, because you need to have steam capacity more or requirement of the steam is more. Okay. Uh, this is basically based on the steam raising method, how the steam is being raised inside the boiler. And circulation, the, we have already seen the natural circulation and the forced circulation 
uh, part of it. Okay. When we uh, have... Again, the name, some of the name of the boilers which is being used or the manufacturers which you can see over here. Uh, when we talk about the tanker vessels, you have the Webcock, Wilcox, and this M11, M11M, all these are uh, the models and the makers of the boilers. Okay, so Foster Wheeler Boiler, Combustion Engineering, this Kawasaki, Hitachi, and Mitsubishi. So all these are the manufacturers of the boiler which is being used as the medium pressure boilers, water tube boilers. When we talk about the low pressure boilers or fire tube boilers, this will be utilized all types of vessel as per the requirement. Here you have Cochrane boiler, steam block boiler, stone vapor, Clayton boiler, Mura boiler. Mura is the Japanese one, uh, it is the most uh, utilized on the Japanese vessels. So low pressure uh, tank type boiler or the oil fired boiler. So Albog boiler is also one of the, this, they are the AQ3, AQ5, AQ9, AQ12 are the model. Sunrod boilers, very important. Most of the vessels you will find on that. This Osaka. Uh, Horton Johnson is there, Hitachi Josen, this is also very important, it is also found on board ships. Uh, the swell flow boiler, Cochrane boiler, Mitsubishi boiler, this uh, Cochrane boiler is also very uh, much found on the marine vessels and this Mitsubishi uh, is also one of the one. Okay. And when we talk about the exhaust gas boilers, the album is there, sunrod is there, that is the uh, main part of it. Okay, so uh, we have seen already in this one uh, the different makes and makers of the boilers which is they are enlisted over here. So I hope uh, this one has given a better idea uh, regarding the various types and classifications of the boiler. Leaving you guys, I hope you guys have understood uh, the various classifications of boiler. Thank you.